Hola guys, happy Monday. <sighs> it is Monday evening. Um, I am getting ready to zen out for the evening, but I wanted to do the little haul of thrifty items that I had been holding on to because I wanted to do a little try on with the cute shirts that I had. But it got late on me uh, because I came home and I had to finish bagging up some leaves and grass clippings that I didn't finish off um, yesterday uh, because trash day is tomorrow and I want to get all that stuff out of the yard. And uh, I got really sweaty and really hot and I didn't want to try anything on then so I had to get cleaned up and fresh before I did that. Um, and then I ended up stressed out um, having words with little dude's dad which just ended up with me thinking about Melinda because Melinda used to be the one that I would immediately call when I got that riled up and that worked up and that angry uh, and together we would plot the demise of <laughs> not the real demise but we would plot and hatch up um, these um, you know torturous ends to the BS, uh, we'd end up laughing afterwards and everything. I mean, there was no harm. There was no real ill intent. It's just your girl had to vent and she was a good ear. And by the end of my just getting all that ugh out uh, that he put me in, uh, she would have me cracking up. So I went from, well, actually I went from upset because I had a run in with my neighbor's mom which kind of tore my heart up and then I came in and had an argument via text with a little dude's uh, dad and then I ended up sad wishing I had Melinda to talk to and then my sister texted me and said my mom fell again she's okay but you know she ends up a little weak and a little shaken afterwards she kind of she didn't fall she just kind of slid off the bed uh, and then can't get up uh, and little dude wasn't there today to at least alert me because I let him stay at his dad's house an extra day yesterday because he wanted to, um, which is what led to the argument. Um, supposedly, um, little dude had asked his dad to stay one more day. And I was like, no, he can't because he doesn't have any of his medications. He doesn't have any of the things that he needs to have. And he's already been one day off. He can't go two days off without them. You guys hadn't discussed this with me so no he has to come home and then I come to find out that little dude did not tell his dad that so it was just the dad trying to manipulate the situation to fit him and it was just you know I'll spare you all, spare you all the details and I don't know where my little picture with his big ears is I hear him in his room but I try not to be icky in regards to the dad with an earshot of him but it just was more of the same he's narcissistic and he's just very selfish and he basically accused me of being selfish and petty for wanting my son to come home where his medications are. And that just infuriates me, but he is the way he is, which is why I'm single. Um, but it still irks me sometimes where sometimes I'm able to just blow them off like whatever, but other times it gets to me. And emotionally, I was already fired up from my neighbor's mom um, who approached me while I was out there bagging up things. And I hadn't seen her in years, you guys. I hadn't seen her in years. Me and her used to chit chat while she was outside, while we'd be outside together. Uh, and I hadn't seen her in years. And she was visiting with her daughter or staying with her daughter. I'm not sure the situation. And um, she crossed the street and asked me if she could help and I was like oh I recognized her and you know I get up to say hi and she doesn't look right and I know that look because I have family members who have had Alzheimer's or have dementia and they have this look it's almost childlike very innocent almost kind of like off in the cloud somewhere um just the tone of her voice and the way she was looking I was like oh okay no sooner do I look up to say hi and I see something's a little off, then the daughter comes running across the street and she's like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry if she's bothering you. She got out. 
um, she goes, I just turned my back for a little bit and she got out and I'm like, no, she's not bothering me. Not a problem. And then she walks her across the street and, um, you know, takes her home. And that hurt my heart because me and that little old lady used to be outside talking all the time. And like I said, I hadn't seen her in years and they age and things happen and it just hurt my heart. And then I come into the argument with the little dude and then I get to missing Melinda because I really could use you and your crazy little plots right now and then my sister texts me about my mom which got me to feeling some kind of way about my mom and my sister and how everything just happens and so emotionally I was like ugh, right before I got ready to sit down and do this and I knew talking to you guys was gonna help just who saw the day little dude did come home after everything little dude did come home because little dude wanted to come home and he's happy to be home and I'm happy that he's home um, he is chilling out right now, uh, so I figured he doesn't feel like watching a movie or anything, so I'm going to put in, um, we're going to do this little mini haul of things that I've picked up um, at the thrift store. I mentioned to you guys that I had um, some clothes, some cute shirts that I had picked up that I really liked the way they fit, and uh, I hadn't done like a try-on uh for you guys in a while so let me just show you the little shirts and then I'll um throw in the little snippets of video if I dare uh, of what they look like on but this is one of them it's an over the shoulder with a little cap sleeve spaghetti star it this shirt has everything guys it's just adorable and it's it's so me and uh we got this at thrift mart and it was $4.99 Y'all know I had to have loved it, and I did to have grabbed it. This one is from Shein Plus, and I'm glad that it's a Shein Plus because I, y'all, y'all remember when I tried to do that other channel, uh, I was buying a lot of clothes from Shein, and quality-wise, they last, you guys. I've washed all my Shein things, and they haven't shrank or shredded or gotten gross or anything, but sizes are a little weird for me. Uh, and this is a Shein Curve. It has a little spaghetti strap, swoop neck, drop shoulder, adorable little star shirt so stinking cute so now at least i know to buy in shein a 4xl for it to fit well and it was 3.99 and then oh i hear the kitty meowing he scratched me guys i walked by him i guess too fast for his liking and he scratched me and this pretty little hippy drippy i don't know if these are butterfly sleeves but that's what i call them little hippy drippy chiffony looking pretty little top um, I thought is adorable. I definitely have to wear a tank under it. Are you going to scratch me again? Because I will put you outside, Mr. 399. He doesn't like going outside anymore. It's too hot. I don't blame him. So I grabbed those. So I'm going to put in here how they fit. Like I said, if I'm brave enough to do it. If not, we'll just move on. the only other things we picked up there uh y'all know little dude cracks me up with the puppets he found a puppet that he sees on one of the channels that he watches and this is little princess i'm sorry guys i'm distracted this cat is up to some shenanigans come out of there whatever you're doing um oops that looks creepy but anywho it's a little princess puppet from melissa and doug and i know he's gonna have me rolling with this little girl uh, so grabbed her. Oh, I'm sorry. She was two forty two, and they ain't no two forty two at Target because that's who sells them. And then he found these uh, little action figures. They were one ninety one. I don't know what brand or what line of toys they're from, but they're these this creepy crocodile muscle head. And then this is it a wolf? Maybe it's a wolf. I'm not sure. But they look like they're from the same um toy type of line so got these and each one was a dollar and i do one and that's everything we picked up at thrift mart i did get some snacks some drinks some teas stuff like that 
I made a killing on the 24 packs of Pepsi. They had them $3 each. And they haven't expired or anything. They just, I guess they're overstock. I'm not sure. But I got some Pepsis. I got some brisk teas. Um, some snacks. But then we moved on to Thrift Town. And at Thrift Town, I had to take the sticker off the back because I couldn't read what the book was about. And I had to move it over. So it's sticking to everything. I picked up a book called Safekeeping. If you love Jodi Picoult, I love her. And I don't even know if I'm pronouncing the name right. Picoult, Picoult, I don't know. But if you love Jodi Picoult uh, and Anita Shreve, read Barbara Taylor Sisel. Okay, so... um. And Leela Bay had always thought of her family as ordinary. Sure, they've endured their share of problems, even a time of great trouble. What family hasn't? But when a woman's body turns up in the dense wood near their home and Emily's grown son Tucker is accused of murder, Emily is forced to confront the unfathomable and everything she believed about her life is called into question. But it's not the first time that her son has been accused of a crime, apparently... A year before, he was a person of interest in another woman's murder. So the mom decides she's going to delve in and see what's going on in here. And apparently, uh, what she discovers proves far more shocking than her darkest fears. What? That sounded uber interesting. This one is called Daughter of a Queen. Uh, though born into bondage on a miserable tobacco farm in Little Dixie, Missouri, Kathy Williams was never allowed to consider herself a slave. According to her mother, she was a captive, destined by her noble warrior blood to escape the enemy. Her chance at freedom presents itself with the arrival of Union General Henry Smash em Up Sheridan, the outcast of West Point who takes the raw-boned, prideful young woman into service. At war's end, having tasted freedom, Kathy refuses to return to servitude and makes the monumental decision to disguise herself as a man and join the Army's legendary Buffalo Soldiers. This is based on a true story. So this sounded awesome. Uh, these were each $1.99. So I grabbed those. I'm currently not reading any books. Um, I finished my last book a couple weeks ago and I haven't started a new one because everything I own sounds amazing. Uh, so... We'll see when I get to those. I picked up two movies. I picked up Amelia, uh, Hilary Swank, and Richard Gere, two people I absolutely love. I didn't even know anything about this movie. Based on the true story of Amelia, er Amelia Earhart, an irresistible blend of action and romance. And their movies are $1.99. Grab that. And then I grabbed Reality Bites. Me and my sister used to watch this on cable many, many moons ago. Uh, and I remember really liking it, and I'd like to watch it as an adult and see if I still enjoy it. And it's brand new, still in the plastic. I found these pretty little gray uh, blowfish Malibu flats. So stinking cute. Brand new. Yeah, brand new. There's a little fuzz on them uh probably from people trying them on but they were only $3.49 and I thought they were so cute and they were really comfy even with the socks that I had on because y'all know I ain't gonna try on no shoes without having something on my feet they were still really comfy so yay grab some of those I found this little rubber thing that you put by your keyboard so your wrists don't get all bent and out of shape. And I actually was in some serious pain yesterday after all the yard work I did with the weed eater and everything. So um, this type of thing comes in handy for us weak wristed chicks. I found this pretty little tray. I love it. It's silver and glass. Y'all know I always have perfume bottles and spray bottles, uh, body mists that I need placement for. This one was only $2.99 and I was not going to leave it behind. I already know where I'm going to use it in the bathroom downstairs. So I grabbed that. And the only other thing I picked up was this awesome little teacup called Fancy A Cuppa. And the only reason I picked this up, I don't know if it's from anywhere with this particular little teapot. But the only reason I picked it up is because it reminded me of Mrs. Brown's Boys show on BBC. Oh my gosh. That is one of my favorite shows. I've been watching it forever. Uh, and now that I have BritBox, I can stream all the seasons. It was, it's an Irish Medea. If you like Tyler Perry and you like Medea, the Medea character, it's, she, he's an Irish Medea. And the show is awesome. It's hilarious. It's one of the very few shows that actually make me literally laugh out loud. Like, ha ha ha. I love it. Very few shows do that for me. And it's just adorable and lovely. Actually, Medea and um, Agnes Brown 
um, made a movie together. I personally did not like the way Medea's family treated Agnes because I love Agnes and expected more of Medea and her family. Uh, but it was not very good. And I say that loving both characters, it wasn't very good. It was on Netflix. I can't remember what the name of it is now, but if I remember, I'll attach it here somewhere or uh, put it in comments or heck, you guys might know what the heck I'm talking about if you're a Medea uh, fan. It was just out on Netflix. Uh, but anywho, they say fancy a cuppa. They're always having tea in the morning and Agnes's best friend will come and visit. And I hear the phrase fancy a cuppa or have a cuppa. And I couldn't leave it behind. I thought it was amazing and it was only 99 cents. So that is everything. So I, so I am going to... I'm them. My arm is still sore. Uh, that is everything. I am going to go ahead and swoosh everything off this bed and get myself cozy for bed if I can walk past this little black beast down here who I swear is going to swipe at me when I try and walk by. Look, he's looking at me. He knows. I wish y'all could see the deadly look in his face. I don't know what's wrong with him. I spoil him rotten. But anywho, I will talk to you guys very, very soon. I hope you guys had an awesome Monday. I hope the rest of your week turns into a good one. Um, so until my next go around, I love y'all bunches. Bye.